All right, guys. November 1st, 2023. Today's the day. 2024 Bowtech bows have dropped. Now we're going to go over one of their aluminum bows, the Core SR, which is their more speed oriented bow for this year. Now, speed as in their aluminum model. 33 inch axle to axle. Let's just see how accurate that is. Dead on at 33. 33, it is a six inch brace height. It's actually, if you measure from the grip, it's a touch under six. Um, but pretty characteristic of a speed oriented bow. So this has a draw length capability of 25 inch up to 30 inches on their flip disc technology mod. Um, uh, what they brought in this year, where the Reckonings last year had the grip lock and the time lock, uh, if you're not familiar with that. The grip lock, you can adjust the angle of your grip without changing your grip at all. Just an Allen wrench, adjust the angle of where you like your hand to be. And then time lock, you can adjust the timing of the cables on your bow with no bow press, no twist into the strings, just an Allen wrench, just by moving where it attaches to the cam. Awesome technology. It's what everyone was asking for. Um, I'm glad they brought it over from the target side of things. Uh, they still have the deadlock. Shim that cam back and forth with just an Allen wrench also. Uh, this is easily the most tunable bow on the market. Easiest to tune. You pretty much don't need a bow press other than putting your peep sight in it. Everything else, mount it, tune it, you're ready to go. Um, it's very user friendly. Um, Another really cool thing that the end consumer was asking for, integrated accessories. So last year they did add the QAD dovetail to the back of the riser. So you can add a QAD integrate rest, which is an awesome feature, such a good rest. Uh, along with that, Bowtech came out with their own sight and quiver. Um, so it's called the center mass. The center mass is kind of like the Bowtech bridge lock, not Bowtech, Matthews bridge lock where it goes directly into the riser. Now it is proprietary. It's their completely owned dovetail that Black Gold is making, which is just a sister company of Bowtech. A uh, little bit thinner dovetail, a little bit lighter weight. They can keep the riser a bit thinner, but awesome mounting system in the way that it goes directly into the riser. Keep your quiver super slim to the bow along with if you did uh, integrated rest. Um, and then they have had it for a while where you can attach a quiver directly into the riser, but Bowtech does make a center mass quiver that you have to look into that attaches directly to the top of the riser. So people love integrated accessories. I know I love them. Um, bows should be a system together that uh, just works awesome. And Bowtech listened this year. They did everything they needed to, especially on this one. Uh, six inch brace height, 33 inch axle axle. I personally love these specs, and I definitely think you need to come try this. Uh, 344 feet per second IBO speed rating. Now we are going to do a real world speed rating, so let's go and do that now. All right, guys, Core SR 2024 speed bow from Bowtech. Um, IBO speed rating at 344 feet per second. We're going to do a real world speed rating, 29 inch draw. To see exactly what poundage is at right now. It is at 69.8. This is a 70 pound bow, so it's coming in just a touch under. Not bad though, I mean, pretty much right at 70. Uh, on the comfort setting of the flip disc mod, if you're not familiar with flip disc, you can swap the mod over and change it from comfort to performance and totally change the characteristics of your draw cycle depending on your preference. If you want a little more speed or a little more aggressive or a little more smooth uh, draw cycle. So it's on the comfort. We will swap to performance and try that. But with this is a 405 grain arrow. We're going to do a speed test on it. For being a speed oriented bow, 298 with a 405 grain arrow, that's got a crazy smooth draw cycle. It, my personal preference, it fits me awesome. 33 inch axle, like I honestly like a little more uh, 
of a speed oriented cam. Um, now this is on the comfort, so it's pretty cool. You have that customizability. We're gonna do one more arrow on the comfort setting. This is a 500 grain arrow, 501 to be exact. So let's see what we're at with this. Two hundred and sixty nine feet per second. So two sixty nine, five hundred grain arrow, twenty nine inch draw, seventy pounds. We're gonna flip the flip disc over to performance and see what kind of speed we get at that point. All right, core SR. We flipped the flip disc over to the performance setting. So this is Bowtech speed oriented bow on the performance setting. So this is gonna be about as fast of a bow configuration that you can get from Bowtech this year. So 405 grain arrow, 29 inch draw, 70 pounds. Three hundred and seven feet per second. So four hundred and five grain arrow. We're also going to try it at the same specs with a five hundred grain arrow. So five hundred and one grains, be exact, but five hundred grain arrow. Two hundred and seventy-nine feet per second. Five hundred grain arrow at seventy pounds, twenty-nine inch draw. Very respectable speed. That's pretty dang heavy arrow. Um, but you can definitely tell how much more abrupt that draw cycle is on the performance setting. But it's such a cool feature to customize a bow to how you like it. And Bowtech just does a really good job of tunability, customizability. They now have the integrated accessories. Uh, it's really cool that they're listening to the end consumer and making changes. So definitely come try the Core SR here at Mountain Archery. This is definitely my choice of bow from Bowtech this year. Thanks guys.